In addition to acting as a licensor, Hasbro also actively participated in the development of the movie, starting with an introduction into the world of the Transformers, called the Transformer School, for everyone involved, including Michael Bay. Hasbro also had a say in the depiction of the Transformers and the movie, the selection of the voice actors, naming the characters, working on the robot designs and the inclusion of Easter eggs, but no veto rights. According to screenwriter Roberto Orci, Hasbro was more interested in an adequate adaption of the Transformers concept rather than only marketing the toyland. Nevertheless, Hasbro urged Michael Bay very early on to decide upon the Transformers characters to be used in the movie and their vehicle forms because of the long production run of the toys, even though the script wasn't completed yet by that point. Hasbro and Takara then created the toys based on the designs developed by Industrial Light and Magic. Aside from this, Takara wasn't involved in the creation of the movie at all. Unlike other Transformers toylands, except for alternators, Hasbro and Takara don't share the full rights to the movie toys. Paramount and ILM hold the rights to the robot designs. While the vehicle modes were licensed by companies such as General Motors, Bumblebee, Jazz, Ironhide and Ratchet, Selene, Barricade, Force Protection Industries, Bonecrusher, the Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation, Blackout, and the Lockheed Martin Corporation, Starscream. Only Optimus Prime didn't require a license, since his vehicle mode in the movie was heavily genericized, and all manufacturer logos were removed. Takara Tomy even identifies the leader class toy as a Kenworth W900 instead of a Peterbilt 379. Even though Hasbro didn't directly profit from the box office revenue, owning the Transformers brand allowed them to profit more from the toys than from licensed brands such as Spider-Man or Star Wars. In addition, Hasbro was able to give out over 240 licenses to third-party companies. In the USA alone, Hasbro had sold more than 3 million toys from the movie line as early as July 2007, while Walmart had earned more than $5 million USD with the movie Transformers at the same time. A lot of the movie toys were frequently sold out at many stores, drought, due to a mix of popularity, stores underestimating said popularity, and thus not ordering enough toys, shipping problems in China and scalpers.